In this series of videos, we are going to see how can we create an animation using the browser's JavaScript Web Animations API. This Web Animations API allows us to create animations similar to CSS animations. However, unlike declarative CSS animations, using the JavaScript API allows us to create more dynamic and easier to manipulate animations. So what we're going to be creating by the end of this series is this animation where we have this scooter here. And what we are going to be able to do is start and stop our animation. We can accelerate using the right arrow and we can break using the left arrow. And also as we are accelerating, we can do a wheelie using W. And if we are stationary, we can do, we can rev our engine using the R button. So let's try this. Let's start our animation by clicking on space. And as you can see, we are going to also have these sound effects. And if you are stationary, we can hit R to rev our engine. And then we can accelerate using the right arrow. And also as we are accelerating, we can click on W to do a wheelie like so. And finally, we can break uh, by clicking on the left arrow. And we can pause our animation again by clicking on space. So this is what we are going to be eventually doing. And to get started, I have a repository here. I'm going to put a link to this in the description. And this repository should eventually contain uh, the final code for our project. However, I have created a branch here called starting point and you can check out to this branch if you'd like to start from scratch and by starting from scratch I mean we're going to have the styling for our page however without any animations so if you clone this repository and open it in any code editor you're going to find a bunch of folders here we have some assets I'm going to put you links for all of the credits for these assets we have our sounds uh, we also have the images we have the clouds the houses uh, we also have the trees and so on. We're going to use all of these images. And then we have simply an index.html file it contains our markup and also an index.javascript file which is currently empty and some styling for our markup. So what we can do is we can open our terminal and to serve this folder I'm going to use a package called live server. And this is by running npx live-server and then since I'm using Chrome and Chrome is not my default browser I'm going to have a to pass an option here browser and then google-chrome and by running this you're going to get a URL that you can open in your browser so I'm going to get this and open it in my browser and as you can see here we're going to have our page with all of our styling over without any animations yet. So let's take a quick look on our markup. I'm going to do it here in the browser by inspecting. So what we have here is a bunch of divs. We have one for our sky. This is taking half, uh, half of the height of the screen. As you can see here, height 50vh. And in here we have a bunch of clouds that are positioned absolutely in this sky div and then we have our background our background contains a couple of things we have our houses that are in the front and we also have the houses in the back the smaller houses in the back so if we take a look at the final animation uh, i'm going to mute it so that uh, we don't hear the sound we don't need the sound for now but as we animate as you can see we have front houses and we have houses in the back that are moving uh, at a slower pace since they are further away. So in here we have these, we have the back houses and the front houses. And we have some styling for these as well. Uh, we're going to take a closer look on this when we animate our houses. But then we have another div for our ground and it contains our street and our street contains some street lines. This is just a background image that is repeated. 
and then we have the shadow for our scooter here in this ground div and then we have the scooter itself the scooter itself however it has this uh, body this contains only the body of the of our scooter without the wheels so here we have a background image of the scooter without the wheels why because we are going to need to animate the wheels separately so we have a div for our front wheel and our back wheel and in here we have before and after before contains the wheel itself and after contains the shadow that uh, the scooter is dropping on the wheel we have this separately because when we animate the wheel you only need to animate the wheel itself but not the shadow that is dropped on the wheel so i have these things separate from each other here so that we can animate only the wheel and then we also have this uh, backfire uh, div so remember when we uh, revved our engine so i'm going to stop i'm going to click on r to rev our engine we're going to oc occasionally have this backfire here so in here i have the styling for this we have the smoke and the spark however they have an opacity of zero so that they can only appear when we rev our engine and finally we have this foreground or not finally actually we have this foreground div and this contains this street sign in this image and as we animate as you can see here in our final example we're going to change this randomly so every time we're going to get a different thing a different tree or a street sign however initially we just have this div with one uh, street sign here and finally we have this div for our info and another one for our speedometer and this just contains uh, the speed that we're going to update as we animate but that's it in the next video we're going to start animating our scene